April 27th, St. Peter Canisius, Doctor of the Church. For half a century, Jesuit Father Peter Canisius led the Catholic Reformation in Austria, Bavaria, and Bohemia. For that reason, he is reckoned an apostle to Germany second only to St. Boniface. With stupendous energy, he preached and taught in parishes, reformed and founded universities, wrote many books, including popular catechisms, restored lapsed Catholics, converted Protestants, preached retreats, and found time to care for the sick. In his last thirty years traveling, more than 20,000 miles on foot or horseback, St. Peter Canisius spearheaded the renewal of the Catholic faith in southern Germany. Peter Canisius revitalized Catholic life and teaching at universities in Ingolstadt and Augsburg. He founded new ones at Prague and Freiburg. In all four cities, his preaching and catechizing won the hearts of Catholics and attracted nominal Protestants to the church. In Vienna, his personal care for plague victims made him a most popular figure. Thus, when appointed diocesan administrator, he was in a position to revive the city's long, decadent Catholic community. After the year 1555, Peter Canisius published his famous summary of Christian doctrine and two smaller catechisms. These books generated the Catholic Reformation as Luther's catechism had spread Protestantism. Canisius's catechisms also helped launch the Catholic press. During the saint's lifetime, they were translated into 15 languages and reprinted more than 200 times. In the late 16th century, when open hostility typified relations between Catholics and Protestants, Peter Canisius advised charity and moderation. He opposed theological debates with Protestant leaders and, in general, discouraged discussion of Catholic distinctives such as indulgences, purgatory, and monastic vows with Protestants. He believed such efforts only heightened division and embittered relations. He articulated his views in this letter to his Jesuit superior. It is plainly wrong to meet non-Catholics with bitterness or to treat them with discourtesy, for this is nothing else than the reverse of Christ's example because it breaks the bruised reed and quenches the smoking flax. We ought to instruct with meekness those whom heresy made bitter and suspicious and has estranged from Orthodox Catholics, especially from our fellow Jesuits. Thus, by wholehearted charity and goodwill, we may win them over to us in the Lord. Again, it is a mistaken policy to behave in a contentious fashion and to start disputes about matters of belief with argumentative people who are disposed by their very natures to wrangling. Indeed, the fact of their being so constituted is a reason the more why such people should be attracted and won to the simplicity of the faith as much as by example as by argument. For over eight years, his principal work was preaching. On Sundays and festivals, he delivered sermons in the cathedral. On weekdays, he visited other parts of the canton. It may be confidently asserted that to St. Peter Canisius is due the credit of having retained Freiburg in the Catholic fold at a critical period of its history. Increasing body infirmities obliged him to give up preaching, and in the year 1591 a paralytic seizure brought him to the brink of the grave, but he recovered sufficiently to continue writing with the help of a secretary until shortly before his death. He died on December 21st in the year 1597.